In this video, I'm going to make fisherman catching a big fish or something of that nature. Haven't really decided the whole part yet. I'm making it for my dad for Father's Day. Measurements. So at this point, bottom of his nose is about an inch and a half bottom of his chin is about two and an eighth his eyes will start at seven eighths bottom of his chin and shoulders are two and an eighth belt line is about three and three eighths bottom of his feet is about five and an eighth top of his feet probably going to be around and we'll make it four and five eighths so here are your measurements Now this is not going to be a full tutorial. I had a complaint that some of my stuff was too hard to watch because I sped up the cuts. So I will take that as criticism and we will just make this. I will make the first cuts and I will edit everything else out. made the guy so mad that he told me he unsubscribed because I was speeding through when I edited the video of course nowhere do I ever say these are full tutorials just gives you a little hint gives you some starting points that you can make for yourself so I can see them that looks like what I'm going to start with Might make it a little quieter in here I'm just setting lines right now just so I know where everything is so I'm just making stop cuts and relief cuts just to give you a, a starting point. I don't want to lose my lines. Now on his belt, I'm going to make a V cut. Not a very deep one at this point. Like I said, I just want to set my, my lines so I don't lose them. And we'll come back and decide exactly where I want everything nothing set in stone you can always go back and carve more off if it's not where you want it to be V cuts where his head and shoulders are I'm trying to get it right in the middle of where the line is with the V cut it's easier if you start on the corner for these, but I don't know why I started it on the flat. Okay. We're going to have to try to make this 
More like an eye socket. So I'm gonna do a scooping cut up to the stop cut. I'm just gonna I've seen so many ways to do eyes. It just depends on what you're comfortable doing. Like I said, I'm just doing a scoop cut. This right here. I'm going up and around as I cut through, just with the, the end. And you get this little swoop here. going to go up the side of his nose into his eye and I'm going to take the eye same thing there we go hang it up with the knife could do cartoon eyes but I probably won't do that try to get him close to each other. So I'm still using a scooping cut here. Yeah. Now we're going to take the corners off. This nose. And we're going to do a little chip cut for his my line down the edge of his nose and then go across very gently pop it up get a little deeper I'm just gonna make a little Stop cut with a little ridge on it. Shadows are your friend in this. <laughs> the more shadows your carving has, the more detail you see. The more detail you see, the more you can fool somebody into thinking you're a good carver. <laughs> like me. You should never be scared to learn new things. I can tell you right now, this is a lot newer for me. Taking scooping cuts on the hat. Like his face. I think I went a little too low on that.
Okay, I'll go to speed in. Get the marks. Just setting the lines. There's butt already in there. I have to split his legs. I'm not going to go all the way up to the top. I'm gonna take a V cut out of this. I cut down first one side and then cut it the other way. That just gives me a little split to know where I want the legs. I'm gonna thin his legs as soon as I get everything set. Take the corners off first. What you're doing is you're just thinning down both sides in the back. The front, just a little bit. front doesn't have to be thinned down quite as much as the back and the sides do. Just for anatomy sake. I'll thin them down just a little bit. I'm going to leave his knees out. That's what I have so far. Kind of 45 it not not true 45 but I will get his legs a little thinner over here Trying to round this off a little bit. The bottom of his sweater. Clean it up as I go. Ears are sticking out just a little too far, I think.
I'm going around and just looking, cleaning up spots. If it doesn't look right, it's not. One thing I'm learning about carving, I didn't think that it was. You just gotta take your time. Some people are really speedy at this, and I am not. My carvings will never be perfect, but that's okay. I don't know if I'll ever get into realistic carvings. I really like the characters. Just my preference. Just find the bevel. On your knife, this is a Scandinavian grind, so it's pretty much all the way up to the top. Do as many one way as you do the other. Okay, this is what I have so far. I cleaned him up a little bit. I'll do a little bit more after I've got his arms on and his pipe in anyway that's what I have so I've drawn out some pieces the pipe is here his right arm is going to be here and his left arm is there so I'll get started Okay. <sighs> Boy, 
this is what I took off. I broke the first go around, so I made a second one. I just split them off. Now I've got to make. I don't know if I'm gonna have be able to have enough curve on this to, to make a fishing pole. Took a coping saw and just cut this out. You have a bandsaw, use a bandsaw. I used a coping saw. Didn't feel the need for a bandsaw. I'm just cutting this. Try not to split it. Especially out here on the end. like that okay Take off all the edges here Start trying to get it into a shape that looks like a fishing rod That I've got a glove on because these are real small pieces. And I nicked a finger earlier. So, I can say I'm scared, but I'm wary of doing it again. What the deal was today? It happens every now and then. There are days where I just can't seem to cut anything but myself. <laughs> Small light cuts. I don't want to force it. Let's go to his pipe. Now, uh oh, I've lost the pipe somewhere. There you are. Eh, swept it out. So, drilled a hole. There's his pipe. I'm gonna have to trim that front edge down just a tad. Now I gotta try to do the arms. Round everything off first. Give it a little movement here. Arm bent just a tad. This is a caricature. Almost it kind of looks like a human. It's a human. I've got to thin out the inside so it'll fit next to the body. It's 
making some small stopping and leaf cuts. This really doesn't matter because it's going to be glued there. I was going to drill it out, but it's kind of thin to drill out. So, we're just going to soften the edges. It's not something I ever thought I would enjoy doing. I go into different things at different parts of my life and have always done that. I always go back to the saying, it's not the destination but the trip. Life is always going to throw you curveballs. You either learn to deal with curved ball or you strike out. And I'm not the type that likes to strike out. Try new things. Get out and do something you like to do. Do things you don't like to do. You might find out that you actually do like to do them. So, that goes there. Bent arm will go down here. Straight arm will go here. And the fish will pull in between. Awesome. I'm going to cut down a little bit to get the glue off. That way the, the paint all sticks and looks the same. And just CA glued it to a little piece of pine here. Just going to take off the corners. I left it on there for a base. It's a little front heavy. 